Um, apparently he was one of the winners of 7.23. But we are going to be getting into this OG seed. With Kuro and Madara down to about half health, further down than half. He's going to time walk, but that's still half health with the dot still ticking him down as well. So he's got that Tango to heal himself up mid lane. There is going to be a TP by GH. Wee's getting pretty darn low as Z-Free can rotate it in. But Morphlin does still have the, the Morph. He needs to back himself up. And Jibby, is he going to try and go for this? This could be first blood. The purification does come out. And Miracle might try and chase this one down. GH rotates it in. The ice shards. Well, Jibby walks himself through the trees. So it doesn't block his path. And Jibby just hides himself out. He's got the Tangos. Is there going to be anything coming from this though? Jibby needs to run himself away. And still runs himself into danger. Purification as well. But Jibby too darn low with this tag team. One more right click will be the first blood. Go in the way of Miracle. And he can just morph himself out. Is the... No, there's no salves Dying available. So Morphlin needs to be careful, but in the mid lane, we takes Chessie down as well. <laughs> Okie dokie. Pretty low, and Jakiro's taking a bit of harass upon the top lane now as well. Is this going to be enough? He can use the Fairy Fire, try and turn this one around. Will be killed off, though. Mind Control takes down Peksu, and now Madara doesn't have a time walk for 8 seconds. Do they have the harass? Don't have the Frostbite skilled up, so can't keep him still. His mind control will be healed up here. I think that was Kuro's self. Bottom lane once again. Jibby's getting pretty down low. I think that was a waveform used there as well. Jibby tries to get himself into the trees. There's going to be the adaptive strike and Jibby just needs to run himself away. But the right clicks can still carry on coming out. Miracle. A couple more. One more. Do they have the vision? Do they, is GH going to take it? Snowball comes out and GH takes that kill. You know, again, back up into the top lane. Pex is pretty darn low. Kuroki's there. Not got enough mana, though, for his spells. And now the bash, the right click. Burrow Strike comes through now as well. This could be mind control going down. Is he going to be able to get himself away? Actually gets off the poisonous scale and takes down Pex, who turns this one around, gets a double kill onto Madara. Z3, because he's going to be able to get himself away. Any frostbite available. One more right click. Triple going the way of mind control in the top lane. Bro. He's going to rotate round. He's going to see Madara. What are they going to try and do here? The bashes? Any bashes? Kuro, dual breath. I think he was just out of range. You know what? Down on the bottom lane, Jibby. Being chased once again. Snowball's going to be coming out. Miracle. Does he have the waveform? Is going to use it now as well. Over the cliff. The right click. Jibby tries to use the purification to keep himself alive. Z Freak's going to be there with the double burst strike. They're going to try and turn this one around. It doesn't look like it. Z Freak now could be in a little bit of trouble. The ice shards go out. And blocks both Jibby and Z Freak in. Jibby is going to be killed off. And Miracle gets himself another kill. Z Freak now in the sandstorm. No reveal for this, I do believe. As Madara gets himself the Arcane Ring. 8 Intelligence, 3 Armor. Restores, okay. So that's like a mini Mana Boots, that's pretty good. Kuroka being a little bit of trouble. That's going to be the Time Walk. Again, still only level 4. So no Frostbite just yet. Kuro though, has the 3 TPs. Might just walk himself away, might just turn back round. Throw out this Crystal Nova and just harass Peksu down. It is only 56 gold, but that's one of those items that I don't think you ever really trade out. Oh, Shibby, I took my eye from 2 seconds. And he ends up dead. Miracle picking up... What's that? 3011 as GH the reverse 103. Top lane, mind control. What's he going to be going for here? It looks like he's going to try and put pressure onto the tier 1 tower. Kuroki rotating and does have the frostbite now as well. Peksu slowed down to a crawl. 126 yeah, movement speed was the lowest it went to the fight breaking out. It looks like they might finally be going on to mind control. Mind control trying to run himself away but there is three heroes ready to turn over. Ice path a little bit short and off the mark. Kuroki though moves himself in. Paxu there's going to be the frostbite. Sea Freak just waiting in the wings to come in. Chessie will blink in with the stream as well as the sonic wave. Clears off Kuroki. Mind control even pushed out on the map there. But there's four heroes up, five heroes with Madara, who is now level 6, does have the ultimate if he wants to go for that Chronosphere. Korea needs to be careful, one more right click might take it down, the tornado comes through though. It's going to be onto Jibby with that mana burn, and it is going to be taken down by the ward there. Jibby's courier is killed. And Morphlin wants to carry on chasing, does have the waveform in 10 seconds. Jibby, can he carry on walking himself away from this? They just go for this tier 1 tower. Meanwhile, in the river, Chessie's pretty darn low. Two seconds to that blink. Does he want to try and turn this one around with Paxu? Chessie's healing up with the bottle. Got that arcane rune now as well, but the frostbite comes out. Will take down Kuroki once again. Ice shards now as well. The screams, Chessie. Four seconds to the blink. Sunstrike will come down though. It's not enough damage. Snowball, one more right click. GH does have it. Secures it as Miracle now is dominating. Paxu, Z Freak, the dust is going to be used. Miracle, can he get the chase on? He's got that adaptive strike. The burrow strike stolen by, well, the morph. From Miracle. 
and just a little bit too short, so Miracle couldn't get in range to use that Boros Strike and find the kill there onto Z-Freak. It will mean though, with that Sandstorm going out, it clears the creeps behind, and whatever that little bit of water is, that this tier 1 tower in the mid lane will be put under pressure. So, it looks like Chess, he doesn't want to try and make a dive onto Miracle. Miracle has no mana. Just that little bit further for Frostbite. That's really helpful. In fact, it could pay off here. The Madara. Madara is he going to be able to get the time walk away? It is available. There's going to be a Frostbite though. Into the Snowball. Punch comes up. Crystal Maiden ult. And Mind Control picks himself up a fifth kill. I shards fly through. It blocks off the staircase wall for Z Freak at least. Chessie can just blink away, say, I'm out of here. Z Freak though could turn this around with the Burrow Strike if he maybe try, wants to try and get away. Z Freak, there's going to be the reveal. Burrow strikes himself up onto a little podium. And now, Tier 1 Tower, everybody here on the side of Nigma can just start to take this down. 12 minutes in, Mind Control going behind. Is he going to be able to get the Poison Gale off onto Jakiro? He does. Ice Shards fly through as well. Keeps Paxu trapped between him and the Tier 2 Tower. Punch comes out from GH. Proper Boxer Punch there. Will claim the kill onto Paxu. And now the Snowball as well. Chessie does have the Blink in 8 seconds. It's 8 second cooldown off, so maybe not. And now EMP will fly through. Z Freak could be in a little bit of trouble. And a reveal. Waveform comes through. Doesn't even matter. Because meanwhile, backlines. Mind Control was taking a little bit of harass here from Jibby, but Madara and Jibby just need to get themselves away. Chessie could come in with a Sonic Wave, but everyone's pretty darn healthy on the side of Nigma. So I don't think he's going to try and throw his life away for this. But they need to defend this tier 2 because it looks like Nigma are just so happy to sit and push here in this early game. 13 minutes in. Yeah, so Crystal Maiden with the keen optic. It's just really nice for getting a range of the Frostbite as well as the Crystal Nova. Just to help set up for fights. Bottom lane, the TP is coming in. Madara. Tornado is going to be there, the EMP now, as well as the Pokemon Shield's found here, but he's going to be stunned up with that, the, the Frostbite. He just, no, the Cold Snap, sorry, and he just walks himself into four heroes. <laughs> and yeah, this is perfect timing for outposts. TP's coming up onto the top shrine. Z Freak is a reveal. The dust is the Tusk. Is he going to go for the snowball? He's just waiting for the rest of his team to rotate through as Miracle, as well as Mind Control. Mind Control not even needed. Miracle picks himself up. What is he now? Like 6 0 and 1. It looks like. CM, what's he going to be able to do here to stop the Shrine from being channeled? The Frostbite comes up, but it's going to be traded off. And now the Ice Path as well. Is there any follow up as we has Tornado off the mark? So it's going to be one for one outposts. Bounties, I think, th well, when Miracle maybe looks to pick them up. Or anyone, I guess. No, they were picked up, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom tower. My control, Cold Snap comes out, EMP's gonna be there, and Sand King isn't anymore. Oh, GH rotating around now as well. The ice shards fly through. That's a long range ice shards into the outpost. The punch comes through now onto the Shibby. Shibby up in the air. There's the ice path up. Frostbite, mind control. Can he do anything damage to Chessy? Chessy's going to be able to blink himself away. Dual breath now as well. GH caught out on the side of four heroes, but it doesn't matter. Nigma still want to go on this Madara. He's got the time walk up now, but he's just stun locked. Gets that time walk out. Tornado's going to be there. It does latch now as well. And everybody on the side of oh, Chronosphere. But no, we. He's inside the Chronosphere. Sonic Wave comes out now onto GH. He gets the snowball onto Jibby. Are they going to be able to get kill out of this. The Ice Path will go on to two heroes, three heroes, but Kuroki takes down Shibby, and now Paxu in a whole lot of trouble. Uh, just mind control, right clicking him down. Madara wants to try and claim this, but Paxu in deny range, and Z3 gonna be able to deny it. Sunstrike comes out, Z3 gets to the deny! But three heroes dead. It could be four. Z3 needs to be careful because Weeha will be able to see him now. Epicenter being channeled. Epicenter cancelled? It's just not going right for the side of OG Seed. And we're top lane. Miracle could have been a little bit of trouble. The Ice Path does not latch. Chessie comes in though with the dagger. There's going to be the Bro Strike as well as the Stand Storm. Shibi, the 
Morphling can change form if he wants to. Snowball onto 2 GH is going to come in, but the Macro Pie is going to be dropped here. GH is really down low. Dual Breath as well. Miracle gets a kill on the back lines. Chessy will fall. Finally, GH goes down. Kuroki comes in with the Frostbite. Kuroki, though, Burrow struck up, and it looks like I think he be able to get anything out of this. Mind Control doesn't have the ult for 50 seconds. GH. Sorry, GH is dead. Kuroki uses the CM ult. Madara trying to get himself away into Nai range. Anybody else is deny him? Nope. Tornado will come through now onto Jibby as well. And it looks like this is just going to be a slaughter. As OG Seed are just feeding. And 17 and a half minutes in, Miracle wants to make a move onto the tier 3 tower in the mid lane. Mind controls here as well can start using these Plague Wards just to stack damage onto the tower. So Pax, who's Z-Freak going to be coming in for the defense? But nobody on the side of Nigma occurs. Z-Freak, is he going to go for the burrow? Maybe try and set something up. Madara doesn't have the chronosphere for the next 34 seconds. Madara could be a whole lot of trouble. He is being stun locked up. And that's at least going to be a mid lane Raxin. Mind control? Venomancer, is he going to be able to get himself away? Will, with the tornado from Wii. Should be able to get himself away from that. And he just, they don't go far. They're just sticking around, just outside of high ground here from OG Seed. So as strong as OG Seed did look yesterday, they're just having troubles in this first game. Um, Tusk isn't even level 10 yet. Okay, Tornado comes in onto Jibby. There's going to be the EMP as well. They're making the move, and Omni Knight, is he going to be able to get himself out of this? The waveform comes through. Any more right clicks? Jibby, really darn low, but will get himself out. But this just means that Nigma once again, can set up for another tier 3 tower because everybody on the side of OG Seed really darn low health-wise. Weeha could be in a little bit of trouble. There was a setup here. The Chronosphere even catches out Tusk. Are they going to be able to take down Weeha before this Chronosphere wears off though? Weeha's so darn tanky. There's gonna, even going to be the Sonic Wave and Weeha. He's still not dead. Kuroki throws out the ultimate. They clean up two. Are they going to be able to clean up Madara as well? They get three. Peksu Z-Freak just on the retreat. GH, no Snowball, no Ice Shards. But they turn that one around. They give up Weeha eventually. But with the setup here that OG Seed had. And he just didn't get the kill for so long. Now the reel comes out. There's going to be the Frostbite onto Z-Freak. Paxu is just being right clicked down. Slowed up by the tag team. And that's just going to be an instant implosion. Five heroes dead. And GG is going to be called 20 minutes in. <laughs> even Venomancer throwing out that celebrity Poison Gale. Uh, poison Nova even.